Hi, I'm Tim from Mile Fitness. Enough with the pleasantries, let's get busy. Today we're gonna do a great full body workout using bands. So, get a door anchor like this, wide stack behind it so it doesn't fly through the door, a whole band goes through, and you work out like this. You're gonna open up a door, you're gonna put it right around neck level, lock it and make sure it's tight, make sure there's no one on the other side wanting to come through or you're gonna go flying. Take a band, put it through the handle, put it one band, even up the band so there's even tension on both sides, like this. I use these bands because they have a canvas coating attached to the handle so if it breaks, doesn't take your eye out and it'll go flying across the room. So we're doing two exercises back to back, chest and back, one's resting, one's working. So chest flies, feet together, always suck it in, a little bit of a cobra stretch. You're gonna crunch and bring your arms together like chin level so the band comes around the back of your shoulders, not down here, not across your face. So it's stretch, bring it right here. Comfortable stretch, squeeze your butt, suck in your gut, so your hips stay forward and you're bending right here like you're laying on the ground doing a crunch. 10 second rest, arm behind the back, we'll go to back rows. Heels touch, toes out like a duck. We'll do a little ab crunch here, touch your shins, squeeze your butt, squeeze your back. Shins, squeeze your butt, squeeze your back for 45 seconds. All right, follow along with me. We're doing a full body like this. I'll explain as we go. I'm hitting the timer here. Pause whatever you need. So it's for advanced or beginners. Beginners, you'll move closer to the anchor and move slower. Advanced, you might use two bands and we'll move further away and move faster. All right, get ready for chest flies. Get set and go. So crunch, bring it in, feet together, crunch. Stretch your abs, so this works your abs, chest, and shoulders. It's a good stretch for the lower back. Inhale as you come back, blow out as you breathe. Keep going to all 45 seconds. First beep is a three second warning. Stretch your pecs, bring them together. Bands come right across the back of your shoulders right here. If it's easy, move out. Move away from the anchor. As you tire out, move back to the anchor so you can keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Hands behind your back, put them in one hand, turn around, grab one in each hand. Now we're going ab crunch back row. Heels touch, toes out like a duck. Way down, squeeze your butt, squeeze your back. So you want it with bands. You always want to start way back as far as you can so you have a lot of resistance right away. The easy ones, we call them junk reps. They don't do a damn thing for you. So if it's not hard, you're not getting anything out of it. If you're a total beginner, yeah, start off easy where you feel a little bit of a tension, muscles burning a little bit. Again, if you're advanced, put two bands in here or a thicker band and really go to those muscles are burning. Keep breathing. Far down as you can, the legs are straight, you got a good hamstring stretch here. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your back. Keep going, keep going. All right, forward, around the back, hand in each one, feet together, toes together. Stretch, here we go. Cobra stretch, bring your hands together like you're clapping. Bands come right around the back of your shoulders, not your neck or your head. Find one spot to stare at again. If this is easy, move further away. I would if I could, but I got some stuff in the way. Keep going. That burn just makes your body release more growth hormone, which loves to shrink fat cells and tone muscle. If it's easy, step out. As you tire out, instead of stopping, just move back a little bit to the anchor. It's like doing drop sets. With weights, you have to pick up different weights to lower them. Nice work. Both bands behind the back. Put them in one hand. Turn it around. One in each hand again. Toes out, heels touch. Crunch. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your back. So here you're working hams, glutes, your butt, your lower back, upper back, biceps, shoulders. A lot of muscles in these exercises. 
We got 650 of them. You're not gonna get in shape using machines in a gym that just work three muscles. No balance and no core. This works all your balance synergies, your core, all your prime movers. You get so much more out of this than the gym. And these travel real light no matter where you go. Keep moving. If you move fast enough, it turns into hit cardio. You're breathing heavy. So you don't have to do cardio when you're done. It's built into it, so it's so much more efficient. All right, one hand, turn around, last round, feet together, stretch, and go. Stretch those pecs, clap your hands. Come on. If it's easy, step away. Hey, this isn't a spectator sport. You better be working out with me, not just using your thumb and scrubbing down the line there. You don't get in shape watching. Come on, pick it up. Watch to the end. We got a bunch of different exercises we're doing here. Keep them going. Fight through the burn, just no sharp pain. Stop if you have sharp pain. Keep them going, keep them going. Keep looking straight ahead, try not to look down. We're looking down all day at our devices. Nice, behind the back, on the one hand, turn around. Heels touch, toes out like a duck. Legs straight, almost locked out. Down as far as you can on your ankles. Hips come forward, squeeze your butt, squeeze your back like that. Well, if it's easy, move back. I know you can move back a little bit. Easy doesn't work. Not dying, you're not trying. You're gonna make it harder, you can go faster, move back further, or add an extra band. So this is great for beginners, do your advance. Faster if not breathing heavy, come on. I'm gonna do this workout like at least three days a week. And do, on your days in between, just do some cardio. Watch Netflix while you're on a bike or a treadmill. Well, why sit on the couch and do that? Nice work, now we're gonna go to shoulders and abs. So the harder variation for shoulders is keep them separate like this, heels touch, toes out, and you're pulling it overhead like a referee doing a touchdown put motion. A little bit easier is put one handle through the other. Pull it up like this, so now I have half the resistance. So I don't have the room to show you to move back. So I'm just gonna double it like this. So the handle, you don't want, you wanna hold the handle so it's not bapping you in the face, unless you're into that. Hey, whatever you're into, I don't judge. So we're gonna hold like this, heels in, toes out. Again, squeeze your butt as you pull your elbows. So my elbows are off to the side. It mimics doing a shoulder lateral with dumbbells. But this is also gonna work your hams, your butt, your lower back, upper back, and shoulders. Now, we're doing golf swings for the next one. So still holding like this. So this is great for the abs, great for a golf exercise, paddle, tennis, whatever motion you do this, whatever sport you're playing. We'll go 45 that side, 10 rest, and then we're gonna go 45 seconds this side. So going three rounds. I have to add another set to this because we're going to go abs twice. And it'll be a total of nine. So if your abs don't like the swing motion, if your back doesn't like it, uh, lay on the ground, do like crunches, rush and twist, something that your back or uh, whatever limitations you might have can tolerate. All right, everybody, we're going shoulders. I have it set for one band, so we're starting like this. We're holding it so both thumbs are facing up and elbows are coming back like this. All right, follow along with me. Get set and go. Again, heels touch, toes way out. And hips come forward, squeeze your butt the whole time, squeeze your inner thighs together. So you're working your adductors. Once you get used to it, move back a little bit more. If you can handle more tension, as you tire out, you would scoot forward for less tension so you can keep going. But start out with the most tension you can handle so you don't have any junk reps. 
You know, those are the ones that are easy, that didn't do a thing for you except waste your time. Come on, pull those elbows, hips forward. Keep them going. Rest. If you stop before the beep, a puppy dies. Just so you know, that's the rule here. All right, golf swings. Both thumbs face your anchor, like this. So you can go down low. If that bothers your back, you can go up high where you're more parallel to the ground. We're trying to rotate the shoulders. So it's working all the way around your waist. It's whittling it up. Come on. Both thumbs face the anchor. You can mix it up and come down here more. You can even come up top like you're going to flip someone over your shoulders. They all different hit the ab muscles in different ways. Yeah, that, that didn't sound right. Okay, come by Val. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. All right, 10 seconds. Switching sides. All right. You can bundle up more band. Here we go, I'm starting low. Twisting. If you're golf, make sure you twist that heel. Get those hips and shoulders down the fairway. Bring it up for a few reps where that band's parallel to the ground and then get into somewhere where you're flipping someone over your shoulder. Mix them all up. You can go five in one direction, five the next. Keep changing your range of motion down, working the abs and torso in different ranges. Again, if it's not burning, move away. Nice. Back to shoulders. Make sure the band and the handle's in one hand so it doesn't hit you in the eye. Both thumbs face back. Pull those elbows behind your head. Your heels touch. Toes are out like a duck. That activates your glutes a lot more than toes facing straight ahead. See, hips come forward. Squeeze your butt the whole time. Engage as many muscle groups as you can in every exercise. That's how you get in shape faster. Move back if it's easy. Move forward if it's getting too hard. The more heavy you breathe, it counts as hit cardio. Nice work, back to abs. Both thumbs face back. Some people want to have both thumbs face each other. And go. If you're a golfer and hold your golf club like that, that may explain how you play. Come on. If you're golfing, don't learn any bad habits and start swaying like this. Rotate. Get that toes and hips down the fairway. And then follow through the ball. Hit the ball, follow it. A little higher. Always suck on your belly button into your spine. Activates all 29 core muscles just by sucking it in. See some overhead flips. And you always want tension on the band. You don't want the band to be slack at all like that in any exercise. Always taught. All right, switching sides. I'm starting early. Both thumbs face the door. I'm starting low. Okay, if you want it harder, use two bands. Twist that foot, rotate the hips. No swaying, don't learn any bad habits. If it's easy, you can't go faster. Move further away, get something out of it. Don't waste your time here. Going parallel a little higher. Couple flips. Springs in the obliques on the side of the abs. Nice. One more time through. Both thumbs face back over your head. 
choke up on the band, heels touch, toes out, arch back. And that band should be taut the whole time. No slack like this in between your reps. That means there's no tension on your muscles and you're not getting anything out of it. Heels touch, toes out. Photo sips forward. Squeeze your inner thighs together, squeeze your butt. Come on, get those shoulders burning. Keep throwing those hips in there. Come on, keep them going to the last beat. Nice work. All right, golf swings again. Both thumbs face back to your door. And twist, I'm gonna start up high this time. If you don't have a door anchor, you could wrap it around a railing, uh, a heavy treadmill. Anything that's heavy, it's not gonna move. A tree if you're out in the park somewhere. These bands are so versatile. Best piece of equipment on the market. Cheap. I train a lot of people corporations with this because it's cheap, takes up no space. You can do one rep each way. Low, middle, high. Low, middle, high. Keep going. Again, if you don't like these, lay on the floor and do some sit-ups, crunches. 10 rest, switch sides. Check, make sure both your thumbs are facing the anchor. Low, middle, vacation no excuse about not working on a vacation these travel real light in a suitcase uh, some of these workouts only take 20 minutes upper body one day lower body the next this one's a full body I killed a puppy but that didn't count because that was the end of the series all right good work everybody take a quick sip Drink whatever we need to. We're gonna go biceps and triceps superset now. I like the superset, which means working one muscle group after another. I like to work opposing muscle groups. So one muscle group is resting while the other one's working. Again, it's all about efficiency. Be efficient. All right, we're gonna go bicep curl butt squeeze. Again, heels touch, toes way out. As you curl to your ears, hips come forward. All the way out, keep those elbows up. You're squeezing your inner thighs together the whole time. Squeeze your butt, suck in your gut. After that, toes come together, elbows come back. Like you have the winning lottery tickets under your armpits. Hands to your chest, you're pushing back, and then a crunch. Arch up like this, your little back arches. Crunch, push down. Arch, crunch. So don't bring the bands up here. They come right next to your chest. Chest, back, like that. Now we're doing four sets each, no, three sets each. I gotta change the parameters here, so we're even. All right, grab your bands, we're going biceps first. Get set and go. So heels touch, toes out, bring it to your ears. Again, no slack like this, has to be taut. Move back. Again, this very first reps should be difficult. Get something out of it. No junk reps. Those easy ones are just wasting your time. Bring them right next to your ears. Elbows come to the band like this. Elbows to the band. Hands to your ears. Keep them going. Flex your bicep as you curl. Get that mind muscle link. Just don't go through the motions. Keep them going. Nice job. Okay, triceps, toes together. Don't have to move your feet. Squeeze your armpits. Winning ladder, take it. Hands right here, right next to your chest. Pushing them back. Go. 
legs are straight. So you're getting a ham stretch, crunch your abs, arch your back, hands by your chest. Look up as you come up, look down as you come down. Squeeze your armpits, where are your hands at? Are they right next to your chest right here? Or are they in front of you? The body wants to cheat and bring them in front of you. As you tire out, just inch forward, an inch at a time. As you tire out, again, another inch. But again, no slack in the band. Band has to be taught the whole time. If it's easy, scooch back. Come on, make them burn. You want to get out to put into it. Remember, hands to your chest. You shouldn't have the hands under your chin. Nice. All right, back to bicep butt squeeze. Heels touch together, toes out. You're gonna recruit, recruit your glutes a lot more. All right, and go. Bring them to your ears. You're kind of squeezing your armpits too. Push your elbows up in there to meet the bands. Hands right to your ears, elbows up to the bands. Flex your buys. Breathe deep. You're gonna move fast so you get some cardio out of it. Flex your biceps. You're squeezing inner thighs together. Squeeze your butt. Suck in your gut. I know there's a lot of variables here. That's how you work a lot of muscles and get in shape faster. So we have 650 muscles. You gotta work as many as you can at one time to get the best results. Good work. Toes together. Flat back. So look up as you arch up. Ready? Hands by your chest right here. And back. Check out some of my other YouTube videos that have upper body one day, lower body the next. Squeeze your armpits, remember the elbows are glued to your side. If your hands are right next to your chest, up top here, your elbows are in the right spot. Look up as you come up, look down as you come down. Strengthen and stretch the back of that neck. Because it's looking down all day at our devices. We'll be walking like an old person in no time. Come on, keep them going. Push through that burn, push through it, come on. Oh yeah, felt it there. Shake them out. Back to biceps, heels touch, toes out. Here we go. Curl. Push the elbows up to the bands. Hey, if that's easy, let's get your ass back there. Get something out of it. Elbows to the bands. Squeeze your inner thighs. Suck in your gut. Squeeze your butt. Come on. Keep up. Let's go. If it was easy, everyone would be a fitness model. Harder part about getting fit is following that diet. That's 70% of it. I help all my clients with diets. All different kinds to try. To see what your body responds best to, what fits best in your schedule. Back to triceps, toes straight. All right. Flat back, look up. Hands by your chest, right here. Squeeze your armpits, back. Let's go palms up, palms face the ceiling, like this. A little harder, but it hits the outer head of the tricep, more the showy part of the tricep. And arch up, crunch. Again, hands to stop right at the chest. If your hands are in front of your face, you're doing it wrong. Form is everything. Come on. Yeah, feel the burn, push the burn. Come on. I could step forward to make it easier, but I want more burn. I'm gonna fight it. Keep going. Don't let the hands come forward. Whew. I was hoping that was the last one. I'm starting to melt. One more muscle group, or really two, but one more round. We got quads and hands. So here are your options. Easy one. We go squats, kind of like a duck squat, feet a little wider in the shoulder, toes are pointed out a little bit, knees are pointed out too, a little bit. Pretend there's a wall right in your face like I taught you how to squat on my other videos. You just drop straight down, so your chin, it's like mid-thigh right here. This is wrong, this is all back. 
your legs aren't working here at all. This is all gonna kill your back. So drop your butt down, come back up. All right, so another one is you can do a reverse lunge like this, alternate. This is more advanced. You do you, whatever feels best for you. You can mix them up. Our next one is for hamstrings, but low back. So we're gonna go heels in, toes out. This is exercise number two. So looking up, stretch your hams. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your back. Now, your arms can stay straight here if you want, if you're tired out. If you have some energy, let's throw another back row into it. More muscles, more calories, faster you get in shape. Back row, butt squeeze. So your legs are almost locked out. We don't wanna bend them with this one. They stay straight as we come up and down, like that. Okay, first one is squats. Again, if you wanna do a back row with the squat to get more out of it, or a reverse lunge with the row to get more out of it. I'm gonna mix them up. I'm gonna go squats first. All right, buddy, ready? Get set, go. I'm gonna go squats. I'm gonna wall in the face. When I say wall in the face, that's what I mean. You're dropping straight down. Your chin is right to mid thigh. As you get better, back row butt squeeze. Throw those hips forward, little pelvic tilt. Now why work 20 muscles when you can work 50 muscles? Squeeze. This is a little more advanced when you do a back row butt squeeze with it. If you're tired out, just use the bands or don't use any bands. Just do it stationary. Freestyle, not holding on to anything. Remember, face up, chest up, bend the knees, not your back. All right, next one is straight leg deadlift. Heels in, toes out, beginner version. Arms just stay straight. Legs are almost locked out. Comfortable stretching the hams. You don't want your back to round it like this. This is bad for your back. You want to arch your back. A little more advanced. The back row, butt squeeze. Butt squeeze, back row. Come on. If you're tired, just let your arms hang out there. You still gotta throw the hips in there to get the glutes and the lower back firing. We don't want any ass tracks on the beach this summer. Tighten them up. Squeeze them. Squeeze your inner thighs together. If you got energy, give me a row as you squeeze. Stretch. Row as you squeeze. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna go lunges this time. So I'm gonna go backward lunge, row. Backward lunge, row. Back, row. You can go back to squats. I don't have a whole lot of room here, so I can't put too much tension on these bands. But I still feel the glutes and quads working. Big step back, front knee, right over the ankle. Do not let it go over your toe, right over your ankle. If you're tired, just keep the arms out there. You don't have to row if you're too tired. If you got some energy, row. Down and out, up and in. Yeah, don't bang your knee off the ground like I just did. Not good, not good for patella. Keep going, keep looking up. Never look down. Come on. If you're tired out, arms just stay straight. Nice. All right, rest. We're going straight legs. Heels touch toes out. So stretch forward, squeeze your butt, squeeze your back. Here we go. Here's the beginner version. Arms just stay straight. You're still squeezing those glutes. A little more advanced, give me a row with it. Squeeze. Let's turn palms up as your row. Works a little bit of lower lats. So pull those hands down by your hips. Now as they get used to doing these, hit the mute button, turn your music on, and just visually follow along with me. So you don't have to hear me just rambling on the whole time. You'll learn all the cues after a while. Let's go. Stretch, squeeze your butt, row. Stretch, squeeze your shoulder blades. All right, I think we got one more round for the day. You guys are doing great. Toes out, knees out, going back to squats. You can do lunges again, and go. Beginner version. Arms just stay straight. 
You can use bands or no bands if you're beginning. Drop straight down. A little more advanced. Hips come forward, squeeze your butt, and give me a back row. Everything works simultaneously together. Release as you're going down, pull as you're coming up. Down, up, squeeze. That's easy, go faster. Use two bands, move back further. Challenge yourself, get something out of it. You should give yourself at least an eight or nine out of 10 on your intensity workout schedule. You can make any exercise easy or hard. It's all what you put into it. Straight legs now. Heels in, toes out. Last one for the day. Come on, squeeze. Lean your butt back. Squeeze. Under control, and so in control. All right, advanced version. Give me a row with it. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your back. Keep looking up. That keeps your back arched. As soon as you look down, look your back rounds. So look up the whole time. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your back. Come on. Let's go. Squeeze them. Come on to the very end. Don't quit. Don't be a puppy killer and stop early. Just scooch forward. All right. Nice job, everybody. If you weren't sweating like that, you're not working hard enough. I appreciate you working out with me. I got you. I'll carry you to the finish line. Uh, if you like the workouts, please hit the old button and subscribe button. Share with friends. Have a good one.